Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I hope you are all having a wonderful, safe and warm day. You can see mine is not warm. Just when you think that winter is over, it's almost March and we still have all this snow. So we haven't got a break yet from shoveling for the past, what, five days or so since last week. We were getting on and off snow and it's a lot of cleaning. When hubby come home at night, he's cleaning during the day. When I have time, I try to come out and do a half an hour or so just to help him out because it's a lot for one person, especially when you're coming home from work and tired. And Matthew would come out every now and then and help him as well. Natalie loves to get out here and help when she can. But usually when I come out, it's on my lunch break or when the kids are in school. So I get to do it by myself. So just want to share with you what the weather looks like here. And when the weather is like this, what can you put on your table to warm and comfort your family? Let's see what's going to be dinner tonight. So to start with tonight's dinner, to complement this cold wintry night, I'm going to make a beautiful quick fish soup. So I have here two nice edos. I have some green bananas. I have a yam, but I'm going to use peas. I have one sweet potato. I have one cassava and I have some onions. Let me peel all of them and then we'll move to the next process. So while hubby is helping me to peel my provision, I'm going to go ahead and season my gray snapper and look at these babies. Beautiful piece of snapper. I'm going to cut these back into pieces because they're too big to go into my pot like this. And I will season them very simply and fry them up to add to our soup tonight. So I'm simply going to go in and add some salt on the fish just to flavor it up a little. We're going to do that on both sides. So after adding the salt, I'm going to go in with some black pepper. And I just cut the fish up so that the seasoning can distribute evenly. I don't want to add too much to this fish because I want to have that rich flavor of the fish. I'm going to add some roasted garlic and pepper seasoning. And that's enough for the fish. I'm going to leave it to marinate for a little and then we're going to come back. Of course, I'm going to do both sides and then we'll fry up this beautiful fish to put into our soup. So I have my extra ingredients here for the soup. I have some green onions, of course, some fine thyme. I have half of a hot pepper. I'm gonna decide if I'm using all this or quarter. I have some broadleaf thyme, some carrots. I'm gonna make a carrot based soup. And I have some onions. I have a combination here of bok choy and baby spinach to add to the soup. I have my yam and green bananas soaking in water to avoid oxidization. And I have my provision nicely chopped up here. I'm going to cut up these ingredients and we will start putting the soup together. So in the pot, I just added all my provision, carrots, and I'm starting to add my seasoning now. I'm gonna go in with half of the onions, half of the green onions. I'll add all of my pepper now. I remove the seeds so it won't be that hot. I'm gonna go in with my broad leaf thyme and I'm adding all this into the pot. 
we're gonna go in here now and add some fresh thyme, fine thyme. So I have two sets of thyme, the thick leaf thyme or broad leaf thyme, and some fine thyme, which really, really enhance the flavor of soup. So I'm gonna remove some of the hard stem and I'll just add some young stem along with the leaves in here. So look how beautiful that ingredients is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and add some water in here. So I'm adding everything to the pot. I'm gonna add some black pepper in here. Freshly cracked black pepper is usually a winner in soup. My stove is on, so the soup is already cooking. And then I'm gonna go in with the salt in here. We're gonna give this a little mix. I'm gonna cover it down and then we will come back and check it out in a few minutes. While my soup is cooking, I lightly dust the fish with some flour and I'm gonna fry them until they're nice and golden brown and ready for the soup. Earlier, I mentioned that I'm making a carrot-based soup. I thinly sliced two large carrots. I add it to my blender with some water and I'm gonna puree this carrot until it's nice and have a smooth texture before we add it to our soup. So I'm gonna go in while the soup is cooking and I'm gonna add a pack of braised chicken noodle dry soup mix into here and that's gonna add a lot of flavor. I had my stove on low heat. So we're gonna give it a mix and it smells amazing. We're gonna let those noodles cook up. And I'm gonna go in with my carrot puree in just a minute. We're gonna go in and add our carrot puree. And that will be the base of our soup. I'm gonna give it a mix. I still have to add the other half of it. And our soup is coming along nice. Let me add my additional seasoning. So I'm gonna add some little tiny dumpling into the soup and not a lot of it today because after adding the fish and everything we're gonna have a big pocket soup but just a few dumplings for all the dumpling lovers in the house and on the YouTube family team I'm gonna mix this my carrot based soup is looking lovely the fish is frying up nicely and this is going to be ready soon. I'm going to go in now and add the rest of my ingredients that I have sitting on the side. I always like to save some to add freshly towards the end of the soup. So we're going to have a rich flavor from beginning to end of the soup. So just a few minutes for those dumplings to cook and I can see they start floating up already. See? just about five more minutes for them to finish and all my provision is nicely cooked so check out how beautiful our soup is looking i'm gonna go in now and add my spinach and bok choy and i'll turn the stove off because i'm just gonna leave these to steam cook and my fish is finishing up now i will be serving soon so check the goodness here. All my provision is nicely cooked. My bok choy and spinach is just steaming. I will cover it down for about five minutes until it cool down a little. And then I will reveal the taste test. I just finished frying the snapper and they look amazing. I think I'm going to sneak peas with some pepper sauce. I'm drooling for that right now. I just love a good piece of fried fish, especially fried snapper with some pepper and that makes me happy. So here I have a piece of the snapper and I'm going to go in there and put some pepper on it. 
I know you guys are drooling, and so am I. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And this is my homemade lime juice pepper sauce. What I lo love about fried snapper, it is so, the meat is so thick and so flaky. And look how beautiful that is done. Matt, you have this piece. Sorry. That's okay. How was that, Matt? It tastes super, super crunchy. And in the inside, it was very soft. And I really like the lime juice pepper sauce because it complements the, the crunchiness in the inside very well. Mm -hmm. And it's still hot. I can see steam. So this is my favorite part. Oh my gosh. I love fish. Look at the steam here. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot, but I'm looking for this piece here. And this part has no bones. Yep, with the pepper. Bye, guys. I'm doing the happy dance behind the camera. <clears throat> that pepper is nice and hot, and the liminess really, really complement the fish. Fish goes nice with lime juice. Mmm, ooh la la, my mouth is having a party, guys. You should see me how I'm dancing the happy dance. Look, Matthew. Wow. I really like the um, pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move on now to the soup and let you guys know how that tastes. So this is what our soup is looking like. Look at the richness here, look. Oh my goodness. Most of the provision is like melting away. And I have that chicken noodle in here. You see those little white things? I have my dumpling, my bok choy, and the base of the soup is the carrot. So it have a beautiful flavor. Oh my gosh. Bring your bowl, guys, and come. I'm going to dish out my, my plate here now. And I have edo, cassava. Ooh, all the good stuff. And... I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my fish into here. I didn't add the fish in the pot because I don't want the fish to start melting away in the soup. I wanna have the fish nice and whole in there. So I'm gonna make sure that I have everything that I add to the soup in my plate. Ooh la la. How, how was that fry, fried fish, Matthew? It was really spicy and good. Mm -hmm. And you can pour some gravy on there. This is my cassava. We're going to go in here and add some more of the bok choy. And if you have a plate like this on a cold winter night like we're having today, that's all you need to warm up your soul and to satisfy your taste buds on a cold winter night. So let me dig in. So to all my friends, I'm gonna dive in here for some goodness. And this is my green banana. The food is super, super hot. I'm not gonna taste everything on camera. I'm gonna go in for a piece of this. I don't wanna, let me go in for a little piece. But the gravy, look at the gravy really rich and beautiful in the eyes this mouthful here is for the viewers green banana mm -mm -mm. wow flavors in galore it's a little bit high with pepper right nally yeah mm -hmm. i think the pepper because it was close to the headpiece it's a little bit hot, but I love mine hot. This is the Edo. Edo is super, super hot right now. I'm going to go in for a piece. Oh my gosh. This is so satisfying, so rich, and so delicious. Mm. The Edo is just melting. To my vegetarian friends, this soup goes great for you as well because... I added the fish right at the end. I didn't put it inside the soup to mash up. And I'm going in for a piece of that fish here. Look at that. This soup is so creamy and rich. 
Mm -mm -mm. I'm doing another happy dance. So delicious. The fish still have its flavor from frying. All that nice roasted garlic seasoning that I added is right on the crust, full with flavor. This is a plate of goodness. And you know what? I have enough for everyone. So if you like our recipe for carrot-based soup today and fried fish, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, it's free to subscribe. You don't have to pay anything. Hope you will consider subscribing soon. Until then, we want to say stay blessed, stay safe, have a nice warm bowl of soup in this cold weather. Bye for now.